Howdy, hey everybody, my name is Silver Knight. I am coming into the world of Guild Wars 2 from the perspective of a longtime World of Warcraft player. This series chronicles my journey through the world of Tyria, which I did actually kind of have to look up because I kind of didn't know the name of the world, but you know, the more you know. And all of its bumbling, falling off cliffs and getting killed in incredibly stupid ways glory. I hope you enjoy. Yo, 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 where the fuck are my buttons? Where the- oh, there they are. There they are. Alrighty. Yay. Uh, hi. Been a minute. Let me just double check to make sure I have everything that I need to have. I have VSync on? Bad me. Bad ass K. So yeah, been a hot minute. I- Oh yeah, I was just exploring shit last time, wasn't I? So yeah, uh, Texas is a frozen over hellscape. Um, again. So, I'm here again. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take free literal two levels. Thank you for the free stuff. I did not fuck up my inventory yet. That's wonderful. So, yeah, it's it's been a bit. The uh, upload schedule and to say nothing of the streaming schedule has gotten a lot more sporadic and people probably like, oh, she's not playing Guild Wars 2 anymore. Oh, no. Actually, no, I've been playing the shit out of Guild Wars 2, as a matter of fact. I've actually been playing it, just I haven't been playing it on my computer. I haven't been streaming it. I've been playing on the stuff like this and... Uh... There. Playing the ones over there. Don't want to worry about it. They're charging. Um, but... Oh, right, there it goes. Okay, for a second I thought I was about to fall over. But no, I've been playing the shit out of it on the handhelds and there is something uh uniquely amazing about being able like have you ever played on like your psp or like your 3ds or whatever and you're thinking to yourself like damn i wish i could just play like insert game x game on here and just like sit back and chill on a couch and play it like have you ever thought about just how amazing that would be also hang on a second let me put i usually don't wear these what's funny is that the uh the earbuds i have here i typically don't wear them right the only time I really wear them is when I'm streaming. So that way uh, I can, I guess, I don't know, get myself a little bit more. Uh, it's easier, I guess, to maybe control the sound of my voice so I don't do the whole Austin Powers shrieking like a Momo sort of deal. But uh, if you're finding something like, damn, I wish I could play just like X game. That would be so freaking cool. Uh, these things actually do that. Uh, they're also... <laughs> way more expensive than they should be, and I definitely should not have purchased uh, any of them, let alone the ones that I have, but I also kind of have people in line to buy two of the three, so they just have to kind of get the money together, so I'm basically sort of like this space for rent sort of thing. But, uh, but it's really nice to have them, and it's super nice, chill, to be able to play, like, Guild Wars 2 on a couch, to play WoW, play ESO, Final Fantasy XIV, like, you name it, I can just play it in my bed, play it on a couch. And I mean, you can already do that with a laptop, sure, but it, it's a different feeling, right? It's a really different feeling of playing something on a laptop, you know, sitting on your lap versus holding on to something like this, you know, you know, doing something like this and just, you know, just sitting here chilling, playing, doing whatever. It's, it's a very different experience to be playing it on one of these, you know, just for the form factor alone, you know? You ever imagine playing an MMO on your Switch? Like, no, because, you know, the MMO, uh, is the Switch is kind of, uh, like an eight-year-old Android cell phone, you know, mid-range from eight years ago. So, yeah, it's not really probably going to be able to handle much of any of that, but, you know, just the form factor of it, right? But yeah, I have, I've been playing the shit out of Guild Wars 2. I've just been doing it on, like, my little baby account, and I've, I've started to just absolutely fall in love with my little Norn. To the point where I kind of wish I hadn't done it on the alt account, because I actually am really enjoying it. She's like level 26 now. Uh, I have absolutely just loved. What's funny is I actually on this Norn I actually just I actually just did this on my Norn this area uh, accidentally because I thought this was uh, Lornar's Pass and then I went to uh, pick an onion and just got destroyed by a bunch of panthers and I'm like I don't understand why are they level 43 and then realized I was in the wrong zone. So yeah you know that's the thing. But yeah, no, I've been playing the shit out of the game. I just haven't been on my computer really playing it. And it's actually 
kind of freeing to be able to not have to sit at my computer to be able to play computer games. I, that may sound kind of backwards, but I'm, I'm really enjoying that. Um, it is good. It is really nice to be back on my computer. It's a kind of a sort of like, whoa, I forgot how big a 24 inch screen is. That's a weird thing, right? Like it's playing on a 24 inch 1080p panel. And I'm just like, whoa, I forgot how big these screens are. And I forgot how good the game looks when it's at high and ultra details because I've been playing on like medium because, you know, it, it's basically a, it's basically a thin and light laptop running on integrated graphics. So the fact that it, it can play anything at all is super impressive, but it makes my heart. Hurt. But it is nice to be back on here to kind of chill and play and do whatever. Um, so, yeah, apologies for the sort of lack of content on the YouTube side of things and especially the Twitch side of things like, you know, uh, IRL has been, let's just say, interesting uh, the past couple of months at the bare minimum. And, um, you know, getting just an actual air, get out of my face, you know, getting an actual spare two or three hours to just play, just to sit down and play a game, let alone, you know, a spare two or three hours to sit down, uh, stream, you know, stream that gameplay and attempt to be somewhere in the neighborhood of entertaining in the process was it's just it's just not consistently happening and it sucks but what's it that they say like you got to take care of you first like you do you boo boo and all that good stuff well boo boo's got to do boo boo you know what i'm saying that that's, whatever hopefully you know what i'm saying though right how does one how does one get to you don't answer that by the way that's rhetorical but I'm assuming there's a cave system I gotta go through because that's what you can't see my my cursor because I have it turned off. But all this stuff to the left of it that kind of looks like you know charcoal crayon shit. Yeah, it's probably got something to do with that. It's kind of weird to be back on my Cabbage Patch Kid. I'm gonna be real with you after being on my little baby Norn for like the past two weeks on and off. It's really kind of weird to be back with the animations. Like I love her animations, but I. Uh, the Norn animations have also started to really grow on me. Also, one-handed uh, one-handed mace, surprisingly strong weapon. I re I'm really starting to dig it to the point where I actually swapped it for a sword on my little baby, and I don't think I like it more than uh than my one-handed mace. It's actually it's defensive, sure, but I mean it still hits like a truck, so it doesn't necessarily. Excuse me, sir. What I thought, sir. Thank you. Give me the loot, please. Yes, yes, shush, shush. Oh, that's right. This is gonna pop up forever. Oh, yeah. Uh. But, you know, going to one-handed sword, I'm like, yeah, I mean, this, the one-handed sword does a lot more damage. Yeah, to be sure. It does more damage, but it just doesn't... It doesn't feel like it brings as much utility, and I know that's because, you know, hammers and maces bring, you know, they give you buffs and you know, clear conditions and have other, you know, bonus attributes and stuff like that, you know, because Guardians are all about support and stuff like that, which is cool. You know, I, I like the fact that, especially for the the one-handed mace, because it does feel, and again, I'd never really given it uh, much of a try because I immediately grabbed the sword and was like, fuck yeah, this is, this is my jam. I'm down. But having tried it on my little baby Norn, uh, it's, it feels very hard hitting. Like it doesn't, do as much raw damage as like a one-handed sword but it feels like it hits very when it hits it hits very very hard and the nice little shield where it's kind of a risk versus reward right where you can stand there for up to five seconds and not move but if somebody hits you while you're putting that shield up you know you do this really big burst of aoe damage and it's you know it feels it feels very impactful and it has a short enough cooldown to where you know you don't necessarily want to use it on every single solitary cooldown because, you know, you, you kind of have to time it to make sure that you're going to be getting hit. And I have definitely missed that window on more than one occasion. But it's definitely, it's a short enough cooldown to where it doesn't feel like it's it's a cooldown. You know what I mean? It's, you want it, it's, it comes up often enough to where it feels, it feels like it's worth pressing. You know what I mean? It's not one of those too good to use type deals. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually really, I'm in love with my baby Norn and I like it. And there's a part of me that's like, if I earn up enough, 
whatever the hell it is, gold I need to get the gems to whatever. I may just race change this chick to Norn, because I really, really like Norn. I really like Norn. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. Okay. I forgot about that tidbit. I'm also not trying to kill this stuff, but, you know, since I'm here, and since the animations are amazing... Excuse me, sir. Begging thy pardon, sir. You to back up off my Cheerios, please. Thank you. Also, I want my veggies. I want my tails, please. Ooh, zucchini. All right, I'm down for some zucchini. I'll genocide a nice word for some zucchini. Down for that shit. You know how expensive that shit is now? But yeah, it's been uh, it, it's been a minute, and I apologize uh, for anybody that might be watching this, the VOD later, or watching this on YouTube. Like, I apologize. Not explicitly my intent to be away for so long. It's just... Just shit's rough right now, man. Like, just finding time to actually stream and just even feel like it's... I don't want to say it's, it's worth doing, because I enjoy it, but just the idea that whenever I try to sit down the stream, there's a part of me that's just like... You're, you're not in the right headspace to make this even remotely entertaining. You're just going to be, you know, just chilling and vibing with the area and not really saying or doing anything. And there's certainly, you know, room for that kind of content. But I would like to think that in my somewhat short little itty-bitty tenure of, oh, hello. Aurora Borealis, at this time of day, localized entirely in your cave. Yes. Okay. I got distracted by the Aurora Borealis, but the idea that I would like to be passively entertaining and every time I would sit down to try to stream, I'm like, I'm not really going to be entertaining. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to talk right now. I just want to zone out and kill shit. And then I would log on my little Ioneo or my 1X player and, you know, log on my little baby Norn and just kind of run around and kill shit and just vibe to the Norn aesthetic. I fucking love the Norn zones, though. Shiver Peaks. Mwah. Those zones are amazing. Look, I have no quarrel with you, Veteran Cave Spider, but you're kind of, like, in my way here, buddy. Because I require... Well, I don't really require the rich iron vein. I just want it. You know, it's the American way and shit. I see that hatchling over there shaking that ass. Don't mess with me, sir. I have no quarrel with you. Please understand this. Oh yeah, End of Dragons release, didn't it? Has that gone live now at this point? I think it has. I mean, I'm not going to see it for probably like six months at least because I'm going to be going through everything, you know, in the order in which they were received. Having said that, yee! Oh, that means I can, um, it releases next week. Oh, okay. 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 Is it going to be like I thought? Because normally... You know, most MMOs, if something releases, there's like a big-ass fucking splash screen somewhere, either in the launch or in the game. It's like, surprise, bitch! We got stuff now! So. Okay. So, I have a week to catch up, lol. The joke being, <laughs> I ain't catching up. But it's fine. It'll be there. It ain't going anywhere. I already paid for it. It ain't going nowhere. Also, hello, Cheetah Spot. How are you doing today? This zone is gorgeous. It has been a minute since... It has been a minute since I've actually played this on the PC, and every single time that I've done it now, I'm just like, Oh, wow. I forgot how pretty this is with such a nice, full 24-inch screen. 24 whole inches. It's what she said, never, ever, because that sounds like that's gonna be... Uh, that sounds like that's gonna be a charge of some kind. But hey, I don't kink shame. I'm sure somebody's into it. And you know what? I'm just going to stop talking right now because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I have not had enough caffeine today. I was supposed to be going to work. And because Texas is a frozen over hellscape, again, uh, I actually tried to make it in. Every Technically, well, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. It's good to know that you're doing well. Um, You know, technically, it's not as bad. It's a lot of little details like this, just seeing... Your footsteps. It's the little stupid details, but it just makes my heart happy. But uh, I actually tried to go to work in a day. Te the roads technically aren't as bad as they were the last time Texas was a frozen over hellscape. But it, it was actually 
I would probably say hazard to say more dangerous because it didn't look as bad. It's still bad. Like everything, and I mean literally everything, is covered in like two inches of just solid ice. Everything. Roads, stairwells, you know, just everything. Cars, trees, everything is just covered in ice. Uh, which, again, doesn't necessarily seem as bad as like covered in like six or seven inches of like ice and sleet and whatever, except that it's black ice. <laughs> so you can't see it. So everybody and their sister, and admittedly, there weren't many people on the road. But everybody saw on the road, aside from me, and one minivan, God bless them, whoever that person was, they were doing it right. You know, everybody else was in Ford F-150s and Jeep Wranglers and SUVs. And, you know, most of them are going like 20, like 30 and 40 miles an hour trying to slam on their brakes. And I'm like, I'm over here driving like 15 miles an hour, <laughs> 10 miles an hour. I'm not even attempting to hit my brake because the ice just, just as a pro tip for anybody who's never had to drive on ice before. Ice does not give a fuck about your brakes. It doesn't give a fuck about your four wheel drive. It doesn't give a fuck about the idea that you paid X amount of money for your car. Ice is ice, it gives no fucks, it will kill you. <laughs> and it will kill more than just you if you're stupid and you try to slam on your brakes when you try to round a corner because you don't realize that going, you can't drive regularly in icy conditions. I almost got sideswiped by some dude in a Ford F-150 because he tried to take a turn and he immediately fishtailed and I just see the back end of a Ford F-150 just whiz by my uh, passenger side door. And if I had been in the middle lane the way I normally am when I'm driving in for the morning, uh, he absolutely would have hit me and it would have been a wreck and I would have probably gotten my car totaled and <laughs> no no like I, it's, I'm not a car person it's not like that car is my baby you don't mess with my car but also like I need my fucking car to live so do not fuck with my car is what I'm saying um so needless to say I did not go into work today I immediately just turned around drove my ass back home and apparently they ended up closing the store because they were like yeah we can't get anybody to come in I was like, yeah, I can't imagine why. I can't imagine why nobody's coming in today. It's almost like it's... Because yeah, the thing is, like, I can drive in the snow. Again, it's called driving 10 miles an hour and driving slow enough to where if your brakes fail, it doesn't really matter. You can literally just let go of the gas pedal and you will just slow to a halt and hopefully not fishtail and hit a, you know, hit an ice patch in the process sort of deal. It's not easy to drive in the snow. Like, sometimes you could do everything right and still spin out because that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's, it, you know, ice is fucking dangerous. Like, the best way to drive in ice is fucking don't. And if people are like, oh, you're from the north. Say, yeah, people from the north say the exact same goddamn thing. Don't drive in the fucking ice if you can help it. Don't do it. It's dangerous. Like, there is no good time to drive in the ice unless you have to because that shit can get really dangerous really fast. Am I going the right way? Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. Which is kind of ironic that I'm having this conversation while trying to find- yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you, fool. I swear to god these rants usually turn into like SK's uh, like two hour long rant session about work, but still true though. Don't fucking drive on the ice if you can help it. Oh no! I'm gonna die! I'm alive! This zone is fucking gorgeous, though. Like, this is this is kind of one of the reasons why I haven't really been streaming. It's because I've been in, you know, Norntown. And just... Just staying quiet and vibing to these zones. Like, these zones are... I see that... I see you over there shaking that ass. Who are you? Okay, sir. So you have chosen death. That's unfortunate. Now, if you'll excuse me, good sir... Uh, you're going to need to die, please. Uh, you are... You are killing my vibe here. And I do not appreciate it. Hi. What's up? I want my first sapling, please. But, uh... Just the ability to sort of... Chill. And just... Because I've been in the Norn, Nornlands, and just going through here, especially when it's in-game night, and just listening to the sounds and the music and hearing all of the snow and all of the ice and just kind of wandering around and seeing trees in front of me sort of like drop bits of snow as it walks just the just the ambiance of it is so fucking relaxing dude it's so immersive and so relaxing and it's just like i kind of don't want to stream because i just want to you know i just want to vibe man i just want to vibe to this shit like i don't want to bullshit i just want to like i just want to relax and enjoy the world you know what i'm saying i don't know why i'm talking like this now 
Apparently I'm Ringo Starr. I don't know, man. But, uh, oh, there's a Vista. As I walk up to it. Oh, yeah, there's a Vista here. Her, 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 her. Oh, yeah, this game is, like I said, you know, it's just like, oh, she's not like, like I've been playing this shit. Playing the shit out of Guild Wars 2. My little baby account, my little Smurf account, whatever the hell you want to call it, probably has, uh, has probably got like 40 plus hours already on my little baby character just because I'm just wandering around, going through Whole Rock, just, you know, seeing all the sights. I unfortunately, well, I mean, okay, I, I'm, I can't, I, I can take screenshots. You know, there's nothing stopping me, but that would require me, in a lot of cases, having uh, either a keyboard set up through USB or hitting, like, the virtual keyboard to get stuff set up, and I'm just... Slash age, huh? Huh. All right. So, uh, I have played this character for 115 hours and 29 minutes over the past 194 days. Uh, across all characters, I have played for 174 hours 11 minutes over the past 3,468 days, which tells you how old my account is. And also that the original Ash the Silent Wind that I had uh, got deleted before I remade this character, and I only found out about 20 or 30 levels into recreating this character that apparently a lot of achievement shit related to your account is by your character specifically, not specific, like your account, but it's by character sort of something. So since I deleted that first character, it's, I don't know. All I'm saying is I, apparently I shouldn't have deleted the character. Whoopsie doodle. But I could have sworn I've been playing this for a lot longer than... Are you... Who are you trying to hit? Because you missed... It feels like I've been playing this a lot longer than 115 hours, though. It, it feels like in a good way, right? Like, it feels like I have explored a lot more. And I'm pretty sure that that little baby character is probably... Eh, maybe not, but it feels like it's been 40 hours because I have been playing the shit out of it, just running around, having a good old time. Just really vibing to the whole, like, Norn Frozen Shiver Peaks aesthetic, man. Like, I like, you know, Cabbage Town. You know, and I like Turnip, turnip Town and all that. They're really cool. I like the jungles. You know, I feel it. But right now, this area, it's just so, like, quiet and understated and... Like, I want to use the word desolate, but that's not quite the word. Where it's just, I'm really vibing to this kind of aesthetic right now. And also, the like skybox is fucking incredible. Also, hello, Demon Face. Hello, definitely not inspired by... A wow boss. Hammer. Birthdays and the like. Yeah, so apparently there are some things that are uh, dedicated by character. Well, that character is, is done gone, which is a little unfortunate, but them's the... Ah, fuck, I was gonna go up there and do that. Oh, well. I'll make another trip. It's fine. Wait, is this water or is this ice? Oh, that's cool. Excuse me, Mr. Fish Walrus. I don't need your shit. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that, you know, an ice land has ice everywhere, but I was just kind of like, oh, wow, this actually looks appropriately icy, and I dig it. Like I said, I'm just really vibing in this area, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I really like Norntown. And I'm I'm not I am only half kidding when I say I kinda wanna race change this girl to a Norn just because I'm really I'm really vibing at the aesthetic. I like my cabbage. She's cool. I like the story. But Norn is just speaking to me a lot. But then again, that's also why I have a Norn a little baby warrior on here too. And she has the super cool uh bind on account great sword thing too, which is pretty sweet. It's pretty cute, yeah. Need to cheese bitch, man. Respect my throat, huh? I was thinking about potentially continuing on with the story, but I mean, right now, I really am just kind of... I'm really enjoying just going through this zone and kind of... 
I should be saying, I don't know, anything more interesting than this, but I really am. Not what I was trying to do, but okay. I really just want to make it to this one. Really now. Excuse me. Allow me to end your existence. Thank you. Oh, you want to have fun? Hello, buddy. How's it going? Thank you. Maybe it's the music. There's something about this zone specifically where I'm just like, I don't want to leave. And I was very shocked when my uh, my baby Norn just got raffle stomped by a bunch of cats. And I was like, wait, I don't understand. Why did they just two shot me? And then I looked and I was like, oh, they're level 43. Wait, what zone am I in? Isn't this Lornar's Pass? No. No, this is not. This is Dreadnought Cliffs. And I was like, oh. Oh, I can't go here yet. That makes me so sad. But sincere hats off to the design team. And I, I keep hearing that all of the expansion zones are so much better than the core, like the core maps and everything. Which kind of blows my mind because these core maps are fucking incredible. Like, look at this. Like, look at this just... This is a spot you can go in game. This is just... This is just a place you can go. And you're goddamn right I'm taking a screenshot of it. I mean, I called it the video game tourism stories, uh, tourism series for a reason, right? This is the type of stuff I, I enjoy doing in video games and especially MMOs. So it's just going in, going into all of these new zones, going into these new areas and just seeing the sights and just kind of vibe into the environment to see how it feels to be in this kind of a world. You know what I mean? I mean, there are other people. I mean, yeah, there's systems, there's pay to win. There's a bunch of different stuff you can look at. And there, there are a bunch of other YouTubers and Twitch streamers that are dedicated to stuff like that, and they provide a valuable service. I also think, though, it's, it's a valuable service to just kind of go in and just, like, what does a game feel like? You know, how does it feel, you know, if you are the type of gamer that really doesn't... That's why I have vertical sync on. Because I think, uh, actually, let me see. Yeah, you see how it said 63 FPS instead of 60 for whatever reason? Even though it still says 63 FPS, I think it's actually going to lock the screen itself to 60, so there's less, like, perky jerk going on. But, you know, I, I think there should be. An element that can be often overlooked in games is just what does it feel like to play? What does it feel like to be sort of like immersed in that kind of world? You know what I mean? What is it? Because yeah, I think that's just something that a lot of, at this point, a lot of games just kind of forget about nowadays. And it kind of makes me sad that it's like a lot of these RPGs are supposed to be, you know, you know, they were MMO RPGs. They're supposed to be role playing games. And that's not necessarily, you know, stat sticks and, you know, specializations and, min maxing you know speed running bullshit it's it's supposed to be something where you can kind of you know you can just get lost in this world that you're in rather than a bunch of a numbers game you know i mean it all boils down to numbers at the end of the day but you know there's something to be said for just being able to run around in a pretty zone and just kind of let yourself imagine for a while you know it's not any different hello max helm how are you doing tonight you know, it's not really functionally any different than reading a book and being like, you know, and just getting lost in whatever that that book's story is or whatever that book's world is and just kind of, you know, let your mind wander, let yourself, you know, it's, it's a form of escapism, right? There's nothing inherently wrong with, excuse me, am I dumb? I am dumb. Also, you need to back up off my Cheerios, sir. Oh yeah, I have a thing that makes the other thingy rock that's that's how words work okay um so my sk to english translator not not doing so hot today 
I mean, it doesn't really do so hot in, in general, I suppose, but it definitely ain't. Okay, fine. It's definitely not doing so hot today. Excuse me, sir and or madam. I want to get up you. Let me, let me up. No, okay. The search for more vistas, let's go. Fuck off, Mr. Scale. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, that is death. I did not request death. I explicitly did not request this. Okay. So I guess I have to go the other way. All right, well, I guess I'm going around that way then. Hello, Kagu. Wow, we got like a whole party here tonight or today or whatever it is. I don't even know. Oh, hello, Minotaur Calf. That's a lot of angry, a lot of angry munchkins. I'm very sorry. I didn't understand him. Assure, I assure you, I have no, that I take no joy from, from your death. Well, I take That's a little a pleasure from your death. But, you know, I just, I wanted I'll the herbs, man. You know what I'm saying? Day. Don't His hate the player, hate the game. Mind. In this case, literally. Well, I have to get the Vista now. Now, I, now I've committed. Now I have blood on my hands, so... I gotta go for it now. Oh, nice. Work from home day. God, what is that like? Oh. What is it like to not have to deal with customers 40 hours a week? Jesus. Ah. Oh. I can dream. Okay. So, ah, I think I see where it, where the hell is this? Where does this take you? Oh, is there no game audio? Oh, is there, hold up a sec. Is there no game audio? Uh, 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 uh. That's weird, because I totally hear game audio on my end. Okay, hold up. Spirits of the wild. What? Okay, hold up a second. I actually do not know why there's no... Why is there no game audio? Hello? Oh, hey, there it is. Okay. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. So in the beginning of the stream, I took these out after I started the stream and put these on um, for, for reasons. And I think that screwed something up and it actually turned the uh, desktop audio off. So that's my bad. You know what? If I have to, I can finish that post because it's, I can, I can fuck with that? it. I can mess with it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. What is that thing? It's disgusting. Well, screw you too, buddy. So yeah, that's my bad. Sorry. Okay. It's fixed. Is it working now? I think it's... It's it's doing some stuff on here. Can y'all hear it? Hey. Okay, cool. Alright. Well, my bad. Sorry about that. I did not realize that the uh, system did weird things. So, my bad. Yay! Wonderful. Are you ready for Bear's challenge? Meditate on the shrine. You see my spikes? Do I look like the type of person that does meditation? Okay, so, distracted. Sorry. Alright. Vista. Let's see if we can get some Vista action going on here. Yeah. Thank y'all for letting me know, though. I legit had... did not even realize that it had, uh... It had not played nice in the sandbox. Okay. So... I hope this is the way to go. Because it sure as hell went the other way. So it's gonna have to be this way, right? Advance. Uh... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not the button. Not the button. There's the button.
and then people run up with flying mouths and they're just like <laughs> which is precisely why I'm not getting mounts yet because I know myself well enough to know that I am not going to I'm not going to be able to keep myself from using the easy way to obtain something if I know I have the easy way to obtain something, i.e. mounts. I'm not going to be able to do it in, like, the intended fashion. So. Yeah, man, this place is freaking gorgeous. Thank you for not dying. Are you ready for bear's challenge? Nope. Meditate on the shrine. I would rather not. Let's not say we did. On the plus side, at least Dreadnought Cliffs is not as insane as Lornard's Pass is. My little baby, Norn, just started that zone, and I'm like, oh yeah, this does have, like, 43 points of interest. Holy shit. Oh yeah, my understanding is that the mounts were designed, like, the expansion content was designed with mounts in mind, because that's, you know, that's the, the system they're... They're, uh, you know basing all of it on sort of which is fine you know that's cool i mean mounts are really cool i'm glad to have them it's just i know myself well enough to know that you know these jumping puzzles and stuff like that in this core map were not designed with mounts in mind so i want to try and i want to try to take the game on its own terms if that makes sense like i want to try to experience the game the way it was sort of initially intended there's no way to really properly do that that's not what I wanted to do. Excuse me, I'm sorry, like, Ninja Nord. Can you, like, fuck off? I'm just trying to steal your ore. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You know, y'all can keep your ore. I don't give a shit. Take my ball and go home. Near. But I want to try and play the game the way it was sort of originally designed. And if I give myself a mount and I kind of just skip ahead and do all that stuff... I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the mount at every available opportunity. Just like, you know, I mean, I was going to use WoW as a comparison, but they're, they're, uh, for the lack of a better term, pretty good. Good. About, uh, not letting you unlock something before they want you to have it unlocked. Having said that, a lot of the older content, um, has been made such that the, uh, you know, like, basically all of the expansions that WoW has had... You know, they would have flying mounts at the end of it, but they weren't initially designed to be done with... Well, most of them weren't done with the... Oh my god, hair is getting staticky. With the uh, intent of having you just fly over everything. Like, you're supposed to traverse the zones on a normal ground mount, and then at max level, or in some cases significantly after max level, you gain access to flying to make it easier for your alts. The thing is, you go back now, you have a flying mount. You know what I mean? It kind of... It can it can change the way that the game is played. So I, I don't I want to remove the option of myself of cheesing. You know, I, I don't want to cheat myself out of the original experience, basically. Well, I've seen that before, that they don't let you use mounts and jumping puzzles, which is good, but I mean even for vis stuff like the vistas, like they were some of them are more jumping puzzly, and I like that. And also, I just, I like being able, I want to be able to tell myself, and, you know, more importantly, tell other people that it's like, you know, I was able to beat, beat, to play the entire core Tyria map outside of expansion stuff without the mount the way, you know, it was originally intended. I know that sounds weird, and it's entirely possible that I may go back on that at some point, but I do want to experience the zones on foot, you know what I mean? It's like a boots on the ground because the game is gorgeous. Like, why would you want to speed ahead of this? Like, rhetorically speaking, I know why you would want to speed ahead of it, you know, but I'm not that kind of person where I really want to, like, rush to endgame or whatever. Like, I'm totally okay. Excuse me. I'm totally okay with just stopping this on the roses. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You know what? I'm taking a picture of you. You're cute. But, you know, taking, just going around and just taking pictures, right? Like, look at this skybox. Like, this is just... Stuff like this is gorgeous to me. I love this shit. 
you know, even if it's not a real place, even if it's a place I can never visit and it's just a bunch of pixels and polygons on a screen, you know, I could take a screenshot of this, go back and be like, yeah, I remember that. You know, it evokes memories. It evokes, you know, it evokes feelings. And also they're really fucking dope looking. There's something to be said for being able to sort of get lost in a world and just enjoy it for what it is, you know? I guess in a way I approach, especially now, I guess I approach video games and kind of always have, I, I suppose, but in a lot of ways, I approach video games the way a lot of people would approach reading a book or watching a movie, where it's just something to sort of get lost in, where it's something to just, you know, lose yourself in the moment. You own it. You never let it go, yada yada. I was trying to remember the, uh, I was trying to remember the lyrics to lose yourself and I failed the joke. I'm sorry. I lost the game. You lose yourself in the moment. You own it. You better lever it. You better never let it go. You only got one shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. This opportunity only comes once in a lifetime. See, I do remember it. it just took me a second. Because I also had the cadence wrong too. So it was, it was screwing me up some there. That's exactly how I'm going to explain it. Oh my god, it's like a core fellhound puppy rabbit monstrosity thing. I mean, I want to experience the game as it was without mounts, but that mount is fucking awesome. That's fucking cool. When I do get the point of having mounts, they're going to be so fucking awesome and I will be so happy. I'm going to steal your vegetables. Sorry, sir and or madam. I'm sure they will be great in a brew uh, like two years from now. Hopefully I don't go bad by that point. 